we take time and remember them, but for them, they remember what haunts them. Say Afghanistan. A treadmill and virtual reality may not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of therapy for post-traumatic stress disorder, but this is part of ongoing research at the University of Alberta to better treat combat-related PTSD in veterans. Virtual reality environment does is it allows us to more quickly um, personalize the environment, help the individual touch their trauma, avoid avoidance um, because that's one of the key features of uh, treatment resistant PTSD. Called 3MDR, displaying images that bring back traumatic memories, walking towards them while working with a therapist to navigate this trauma. So you couldn't learn. Developed in the Netherlands by Dr. Eric Vermetten in Edmonton this week to guide the program as it receives new funding to expand. A very difficult to treat um, uh, veterans with chronic PTSD. And, um, and I feel we always, from a moral imperative, I feel they serve for us and we need to give them the best service that they deserve in the aftermath. Saying veterans tend to have higher dropout rates in traditional sit on the couch and talk therapy programs and is excited to see countries like Canada and the Netherlands working together to research new programs tailored to veterans. Prevalence and in the incidence of PTSD is pretty high. We've just returned from a, from a deployment in Afghanistan, but also Iraq and previous deployments that leaves a, a large group of individuals with a disorder that's really disabling and is chronic. Technologies, different kinds of interventions that can help them um, be as resilient as they can be as they serve uh, as they serve all of our communities and our world. The U of A research started in 2019, but new funding from the province of Alberta will help expand to more veterans and military personnel, but also other frontline professions like health care, as PTSD from the COVID-19 pandemic is expected to set in. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.